Habang tinitingnan natin, nire-recognize natin ng Diyos ang ating tagapagligtas, ang ating tagapaglikha. Habang ating nire-review ang buhay ng ating Panginoon Yesu Cristo, let's review our lives. Hi friends, one question na gusto kong itanong sa inyong lahat is, how's your priorities? Palagi ko marami tayong mga iniisip, marami tayong ginagawa, and we are so busy with so many things in life. But I just want to remind ng bawat isa sa atin of a passage in the scripture, and it's a very common passage that can be found in Matthew 6.33. And palagi ko marami sa inyo, you have already memorized this, and it says, But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. And normally, pag ini-interpret itong text na ito, para bang iniisip natin, o basta sinimulan ko yung araw ko sa Panginoon, okay na. Nag-pray na ako, okay na. But in reality, when we look at it, mga kapatid ko, mga kaibigan, dito sa passage na ito, when it mentions seek ye first, it really says that kailangan na sa araw-araw ng buhay natin, sa lahat ng ginagawa natin, He should be the first and foremost sa lahat ng ating ginagawa. And so, seek first is not just beginning the day with God. It's about being with God all throughout the day. He is the first all throughout the day. Kaya, how's your priorities? Baka masyado tayong abala with our work and we excuse ourselves saying that, oh, I, I've already started the day with a prayer. I already started the day with a devotional. Then it's okay. No, 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 no. It's not okay. Because we are asked by the Lord to seek Him first. And when we seek Him first, as in, sa lahat ng ating ginagawa siyang inuuna natin, everything will be provided for us. Yung mga kailangan natin, yung strength, yung love, yung grace, yung mercy, yung happiness na kailangan natin, sa Kanya natin matatagpuan yan. And so, I, I just want to share with you just three simple things for us to be able to really, uh, really make Him our priority sa buhay na ito. And the first letter R is recognize. Let's recognize that God is our Creator. Psalms 24.1 says, The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Let's remember, let's recognize that He is our Creator. He provided everything. Number two, dito mga kapatid, sa first point natin, let's recognize that He is our Redeemer. He saved us. And because of that, it is just right na talagang i-focus natin ang ating mga puso sa Kanya dahil Siya ay nagmamahal ng lubusan sa bawat isa sa atin. So let's recognize Him. In everything we do, sa lahat ng ginagawa natin, I remember one time nagtatravel ako sa EDSA, nakita ko yung, yung, yung isang bla, uh, billboard na kalagay, Talk to me and then slash God. It's a way of God talking to us. Let's recognize that He is our Creator. He loves us. He cares for us. He redeemed us. He died for us. Second point, let's review. Number one, let's recognize. Number two, let's review. What will we review? Let's review the life of Christ. Tingnan natin yung boy ni Cristo sa John 6.38. It says, For I have come down from heaven, not to do my will, but to do the will of Him who sent me. So, every day we will look at the life of Christ and we ask that question, what will Jesus do? Gagawin natin yung ginawa ng Panginoon at ang ginawa natin Panginoon sa Kristo is to prioritize and to really seek the will of God whenever, whatever. So mga patid, lagi natin tignan ang buhay ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo. Lagi natin alalahanin that yung kanyang buhay, siya ang ating example, at siya inuna niya ang Panginoon, inuna niya ang Ama sa lahat ng kanyang ginagawa. Alam niyo may isang magandang passage pang sabi niya pa nga doon, It is my meat and my drink to do the will of my Father in heaven. And so, kailangan pala talaga siya yung ating inuuna sa lahat ng mga bayan because Jesus Christ did it Himself. Alam nyo, sabi rin ni Ellen White, The early morning often found Him in some secluded places, meditating, searching the scriptures, or in prayer. Kailangan pala. Talagang tignan natin ang buhay ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo. At dahil tayo mga Christians, let's follow the same path. And the last R that I want to share with you is re-evaluate. What will we re-evaluate? Let's re-evaluate our lives. Habang tinitignan natin, nire-recognize natin ng Diyos ang ating tagapagligtas, ang ating tagapaglikha, habang ating nire-review ang buhay ng ating Panginoon Yesu Kristo, let's review our lives. Yung buhay ba natin nakaakma at ang priority ba natin ay ang ating Panginoon Yesu Kristo. Let's review our priorities. And, and I want to share with you this quote ang sabi, Surrender all your plans to Him. To be carried out 
or given up as His providence shall indicate. Thus day by day you may be giving your life into the hands of God and thus your life will be molded more and more after the life of Christ. Mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, I don't know what your priorities are right now. I don't know ano yung mga iniisip ninyo, baka yung work ninyo, yung relasyon ninyo, yung pamilya ninyo, but I hope and pray you will remember Matthew 6.33. And we will look at the life of Jesus Christ. We will recognize God. We will review the life of Christ. We will reevaluate. Let's ask the Holy Spirit to show us what we need. And eventually, we will realize the greatest person that we need is no other than Christ Himself. Now, po ay na-bless kayo. And always remember that the Word of God is so powerful. Jesus loves you. He cares for you. At sana po ay naging blessing sa inyo to at lagi niyong matatandaan that by God's grace, we can live God's word in this world. Mm-hmm.